Hey guys, and welcome back to... Al I, why was I going to say Alone in the Dark? I don't even know what game I'm playing. That's how little time and how tired I am at the moment. But anyway, welcome back to Clock Tower. Clock Tower 1, or, well, Clock Tower 2, depending on where you are. Uh, last time, we actually finished the game off and we uh, banished Dan in um, Jennifer's story at least. This time, what I've decided to do, we're going to start fresh. We're going to play as Helen. So the game is going to be eh, quite a bit different uh, in some certain areas anyway, especially after we get the uh, past the first bit. Uh, I probably will get the other endings as well, but I will probably just record the um, actual, uh, you know, final cutscenes. Just because it's kind of a pain in the ass, uh, I have printed out uh, how to get the other endings. And the thing is, there kind of isn't that much variation between them. So I'm going to have to play through this game like eight times to get all the endings. And yeah, I don't really fancy recording all of that. Because, man, that would make a, a very boring and repetitious um, LP. So what I am going to do, uh, I'm going to do it off camera. And I'll just give you the endings. But what we do, we're going to go uh, play Helen's mission or story. And uh, hopefully we're going to aim for ending A. Pretty sure we should be able to get ending A. Uh, and then we'll fill in the blanks. In fact, actually halfway through, we should be able to get ending E anyway, because that's kind of like, you know, pretty close to the start of the game. Uh, so anyway, without any further bullshit, let's go. New game. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to sit through the same prologue again. Well, almost the same prologue again. But, hey, that is what it is with this game, unfortunately. Now, I would love to fast forward this bit. But because this isn't emulated very well, we can't. <laughs> so, we're going to have to just sit back and enjoy the wavy lines. Did I say enjoy them? I mean, of course, suffer through them. Now, our internet seems to be kind of okay. At the moment, we've had to resync our 4G um, dish, I guess, for lack of a better, better word. It's not really a dish, but it's just like a box that receives 4G signals uh, to the tower. And it, yeah, I mean, I don't want to say it's good, but it's it's loading web pages now, which is better than, you know, just uh, <laughs> loading up web pages that look like a load of text. We've been getting about 1.4 meg download, something like that. Um, and the latency has been, was it 1,000 and something milliseconds, which is over a second of latency? Yeah, uh, if you're thinking, gee, that sounds unusable, you'd be right. In fact, I'm pretty sure dial-up isn't exactly a million miles away from the experience that we've had. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Oh no. The clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. <laughs> but remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes. yes professor. Remember, your ass is in my hands, literally. Okay. So, well, we have to go around and basically do everything the same on this part, except we only have to talk to Harris once. Faint smell of ammonia. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this beginning section kind of sucks massive amounts of goat penis once you've done it once or twice before. I don't really want to do it eight times, if I'm being honest. 
They are a replica of the scissors. Yes, they are. Very good, um, Mr. Barton. Very good. So, uh, yeah, as Reaver of Dual Sandwiches said in, in one of the recent comments, uh, yeah, I haven't even been able to answer comments either. It's fucking shit. I actually answered everybody's comments uh, a few days ago now, I believe, at work because, you know, <laughs> it wasn't going to happen at home. Right, well, let's just skip through all of this because we know what this all, all this bollocks is. Come on. So, yeah, I don't know why they don't just kick Scissor Man in the balls, like, really hard. But, hey, I mean, he's pretty good. Like, once you put him down, he disappears. I mean, for fuck's sake, we can defeat him with a bed sheet. A bed sheet, you know? But, hey, I guess that's none of my business. Right, let's have a little look at this statue. A statue? It's cold. One of the items found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders. It seems to be hiding some sort of secret. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blow it out your ass, Dr. Barton. It's fine. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago. She looked really angry. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Mm. And we've got this cute little bear here. I don't know why he's like looking. He looks like he's sniffing her asshole. But hey, fair dues. A stuffed animal. Looks like a prize. One at a fair. Yeah, li li literally. You examine this. He's nowhere near it. He's, hey, hang on. Sexual harassment in the workplace. I mean, she doesn't seem to care, but... Jeez, dude. Right. Let's also examine this, because that's what we have to do. This is a man's rubber mask. A kind of... A kind sold in cheap novelty top. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. Yeah, we know the newspaper reporters here. We're going to go have a little chin wag with him in a minute. About the clock tower murders. Everything's about the clock tower murders, dude. Yeah, sensationalize everything. Well, you've got to sell papers, Mr. Barton have to sell papers just like you sell your time with these victims sitting on that uh, therapy bench of yours same deal really there's still something I need to do in here uh, who haven't we spoke to enough you shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long no we shouldn't right let's talk to is that Beth yeah Beth yes they're really beginning to look like sisters because they live together yeah yeah, because that's how uh, genealogy and all that shit works. Yeah, don't get too attached to these people, Beth. They are expendable, much like yourself, I am sure. Right. Yes, yes, you're right. Yes, I am right. I'm the boss. That means I'm right about everything. That's how these workplaces work. What haven't we done here yet? So we've examined the mask, we've examined that, we've examined... Harris's desk, yeah. Maybe we have to examine Harris's... Yeah, maybe that's what we had to do. There we go. Yeah, we couldn't go without having a look at Harris's desk, because that would have been tragic. You're right there, douche. Looks like a massive douchebag. Oh, Professor. A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. We'll see now. Oh, thank you. See, look at that, Mr. Barton. You can be polite and courteous when needed. Now, we've only spoken to him once because we want to play as Helen. Oh, do we have to speak to him again? Maybe it's one additional time. Uh, is Jennifer? She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Um, no. He's always so gloomy. He's top notch, though. That's for sure. But then, yeah, I think we just screwed that up. I don't know why. Ah, bugger. Bollocks. I think it was just. I wasn't quite 
getting it on there. Yeah, sometimes this cursor is not fantastic. Hey kids, guess what that means? If you guessed, I have to restart this entire section and play up to him again just to change characters because that's a great feature. You'd be right. So, one second guys. Hey guys, right, so I have just spoken to Harris once, so we should be good to go now with Helen. Okay, so after that embarrassment is finally over, let's go and talk to uh, our friends, the reporters. Well, I mean, you know, friends is a, a strong term, you know. But, uh, hey, let's just go with that for now. Let's go see our friend writing his garbage in that trashy magazine. Oh, Professor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> in fact, this is going to be exactly the same as it was last time, so we're just going to skip through it. I could fast forward through it, but I'm sure there might be somebody that wants to read this as a refresher, so we'll leave it in. And there is uh, Tim with his invisible camera. Gee, Tim, I hope you don't get horribly murdered later and somebody might set fire to your face with apparently a pack of matches. It would be unfortunate if someone uh, set fire to that rather awesome hat you're wearing. <clears throat> Not really sure how Tim was found and kicked in the balls and set on fire, but hey. For a little boy, Clock Tower, uh, Clock Tower, yes, Clock Tower, Scissor Man seems to have a lot of strength, which is a little bit crazy. Come on. We'll fast forward this a little bit because it's just like I like replayability in games but this could have been handled a little bit better but you know it's not awful I mean it's fairly typical of the time but it is unfortunate that we have to replay this particular section over and over again I mean it's slightly more interesting I suppose than a character select screen but, with a character select screen, you kind of know where you are. I would imagine there's quite a few people back in the day that didn't even know you could play as Helen. Because you probably are going to talk to uh, everybody multiple times. So, you know. Right, let's get out of there. And let's go see Edward. And Kay. You know, I kind of remember Kay having a bit more of a, a larger part of this game. But maybe not, I suppose. Oh, hello, Harris. Uh, actually, hmm. We could potentially save state here. Um. Yeah. Because we can get... Um, this is the start of the fork in the road. So, go on. We will. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Yes, you do. Let's go speak to Harris here. He's the man that knows a few things about stuff. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower. Murders is here. Yes, he is the clock tower murderer. Well, one of them. Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Uh, good. Is there something I can do for you? Well, yes, there is. Yes, there... Oh, yeah, now we need to have a look at the statue, don't we? Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on the statue. Yes, we do. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yeah. Yes, we will. Yeah, but there was that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. But I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Uh, right, so this is important. If we want to just quickly get the um, worst ending... We could just say, yes, show it to Rick. Um, 
Hmm. This is where the main choice is. We could show it to Rick. Uh, and then get the bad ending. Or we could say no. Uh, you know what? Let's just say yes. Alright. I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take the statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've seen all this. So what we can do here... What we can do here... Is... Keep the safe state. And we can get the, the E ending. It's much easier if you show it to Rick. It's a lot quicker to get the E ending if we show it to Rick. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the thing is... Yeah, it's funny you don't remember anything, Mr. Killer. Uh, if we... Um, go to Rick's and get the uh, bad ending. I guess we could save. Uh, we can just load that point and then go to the other area. Because we actually want to do the library. Because... Uh, we didn't do the library uh, or visit the library in Jennifer's section, so I kind of want to show it off. Uh, yeah, we just overlook that. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Now, we should be Helen. You said your hard drive crashed. Oh no, that's too bad. Yeah, I lost all of this morning's data. I hope I can get a fix sometime today. Otherwise, I won't be getting my dissertation done on time. Well, that's awful. Don't worry. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure, sure. See you later. Thanks, Beth. You're one in a million. So, where should we go indeed? I mean, we could go to the police station. Because, why not? Hard drive crashed, eh? Damn, those Windows 98 mach uh, 95 machines weren't brilliant, were they? Uh, Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge of the clock tower case, is here. Well, good. Well, hey, Teach, got some new info? No, have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. Well, that was a very enlightening uh, conversation. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing... He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yeah, that sounds like Professor Barton. Does it? What about that little cutie? Oh, Jesus. Jennifer... She's still having nightmares. Occasionally. I ain't surprised. She was almost splashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye. Hey, aren't you supposed to be Chief Inspector? You're the one that's supposed to be doing all the research and the work around here. Not dribbling over my, uh... Well... Surrogate daughter, I suppose. Uh, I'll be mobbed by reporters if I go over there. Well, we're not going to go over there then, are we? Let's check out the hotel. Edward and his guardian are staying here. All right, then. They're here. I can see that. Oh, Helen. How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes, something will jog one's memory. Yes. Oh, he knows. He knows everything. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it was a good idea. Well, to stay here long or not to? We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. Yes, he's already having fantasies about peeling off her skin. You know it. Be seeing you. Later, mate. Let's go to the library. I've got to get back to the university. Really? Okay. Well, let's go back to the university then. Although, let's check. Oh, no. No, she's not interested. She wants to go back to work. 
jobs worth. Well, I should get home and work on my dissertation. Let's do just that. Oh, Miss Macwell. I replaced your hard drive. Great, so we've lost everything. Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down the lounge for, to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? We'll all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Just let old Sizzy walk straight in. No shit's given. Fuck it. Give him a pair of keys as well. Give him some keys. Give him a seat. Lovely. So who have we got sleeping here? Rose? Is that you? Baker's still in the lab. Oh. Are you seeing Baker again here? Yeah, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a hotel. Oh, sorry, a motel. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. Oh, Baker's coming. Don't you worry about that. Okay, so an old air conditioner that doesn't work very well. No. Well, you know, university budgets and all that. A comic book brought by one of the staff. Lovely. Doesn't, um, doesn't really look like a comic book. It kind of looks more like a box or something. Oh, it's a pillow. She once said she couldn't sleep without her own pillow. She brings her own pillow in. Well, admittedly, a pillow is the last thing I would have thought that was, but sure. The surrounding campus is lit up by the streetlights. It's pitch dark outside. Well, it's dark or it's lit up. It can't be both. Okay, sure thing, Miss Maxwell. There are some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. Excellent. I don't know which is whose. Well, pocket whatever you can. No whiskey there at all, is there? No? Okay. Can't win them all. Yeah, stop fiddling with the stuff, all right? And let's get out of here. Woman's lounge can be locked from the inside. Well, I mean, that makes sense. We're going we're gonna to go, go through the door or no? I'm going to go through the door. Alright, maybe we need to use a bed and go to sleep. Bunk beds for napping. No, she does not want to be napping. I think it's about to... Oh no, she does want to nap, but she wants to nap in the one that she... Okay, my phone's going crazy. She wants to choose her own. Can't sleep whilst it's on. Well, of course. What are we doing? I missed that because my phone was going crazy. Turn the light off. No. Turn the air conditioner off. What does she want me to turn off? Turn off the light. I just tried that. Doesn't appear to be a light switch to turn off. I can sleep with the light on. I'd prefer not to, but, ah, there we go, but, uh, I can't sleep with the light on. Anyway, why is Helen being a job's worth and telling her she can't use, uh, this place as a hotel? What the fuck business is it of hers? I'll take a quick catnap and then work on my report. I don't think she's in charge. That was a really weird way to get into bed, but sure. Oh. Well now, who is it? I don't know, but we must have been asleep for a while. Maybe Snippy Snip has let himself in. Oh, hello.
No, oh, he's obviously very tired. Hey, buddy. Um, what do we have to use as a weapon? I guess we're just going to run for it. Who let Mr. Snips in? Well, I guess just leaving everything open probably did that. Can we go in here? It all went open. Well, that's awkward. All right, Snippy Snips. Oh, I love the music. I really do. Let's just gingerly walk over to the shitter. Lovely. Uh, see if there's some way of dealing with him in here. It doesn't look like it. Oh. Stupid bastard just continued walking off. Well, all right then. Okay. Well, that was a little bit awkward now, wasn't it? I think this is a relatively good place to leave it because, uh, yeah, we're on about 25 minutes. That's okay. I've got to get this edited and rendered and fingers crossed I can actually upload this tonight. Otherwise, we're not going to have a video today. Uh, well, that would be a good test of the internet, I guess. So, when we come back, we're going to explore this area as Helen. Um, it's, it's mostly the same, um, but we can do some different things, I think, in some of the rooms. But most of it's just filler content. So what we're going to do, we're just going to grab the bits and pieces that we need, and then we're going to get out of here. But that's going to have to wait. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.